Hey guys, and Apple is on a roll. I love when Apple continues to release new software updates and a major new features. iOS 15.4 adds major new features to the iPhone. Just when you think Apple is done, they add some amazing new features and we'll talk about that here in this video. Of course, as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode. Now, the first thing I wanna talk about is software releases. Yesterday, Apple released 15.3 to the general public everyone can download that software right now for iphone and ipads and today they release ios 15.4 beta 1 for registered developers by the way public beta testers you could see this populate for you in the next 24 to 48 hours or so just pay attention to your software update section but aside from ios 15.4 apple has also released mac os 12.3 beta 1 15.4 beta 1 for ios ipad os 15.4 beta 1 watch os 8.5 beta 1 and of course tv os 15.4 beta 1 has been released by apple as well now as i mentioned this one brings major new features to the iphone i think many ios users will be happy with this one but let's go ahead and take a look at the size of the download as always this is overriding the entire os so it's about five and a half gigs of a download here if you're updating from ios 15.3 uh, gold master or release candidate to this one or even just starting fresh with the new beta it's going to be five and a half gigs or so keep in mind as i always say this is not taking away five gigs from your iphone it's simply overriding the entire os now i want to go into settings here general and about before we get to the official new features with the software at least the major new features there it is 15.4 build number 19 e 5209 h and that's going to be the latest build number for ios 15.4 beta 1 and now one of the major features here is using face id with a mask yes a lot of users have been waiting for this feature it looks like this software is the one to bring face id detection with a mask and as you can see right here when you first set up your iphone with 15.4 you'll get greeted with a new welcome screen here and it says here face id is most accurate when you set it up to scan full facial recognition right only but face id can also be set up to be working with a mask because it uses right here recognizes the upper features of your eyes eye area in order to unlock so when you wear a mask obviously it's covering your nose your mouth and i'm going to go ahead and demo that here in this video but right here you get the setup where you can use face id with a mask you don't need a mask when you go to set it up but once you use a mask it works like magic i've tried it already and you also have the option to not set it up without needing a mask so you don't have to use the mask option if you don't want but i'm sure many users will opt in for this particular option but keep in mind the most secure way to use face id is without a mask and recognizing your entire face now not only did apple add the feature to be recognizable with a mask using face id but they also used the add glasses feature as well now if you set up the glass feature then you can't use the mask feature for face id so these two do not work together so if you're wearing the uh, face id feature with a mask if you're using that feature and you have a pair of sunglasses that never work with face id those two can't work together however if you have prescription glasses those would be fine and as apple mentioned before on the keynote when they first presented face id certain sunglasses will not work for face id so this will actually fix that particular issue using other portions of your face to authenticate for those that have sunglasses that are not compatible or work with face ids now if we head on over into settings here and we go to face id options that is where you find these two new features so you have right here use face id with a mask and add sunglasses as well obviously all you have to do is set it up manually if you don't set it up at first you can always set it up manually under face id options and passcode options right there now this also works when you go to authenticate so like if you go to pay something with your iphone and you have your mask on you can use this feature and it will work and if you try to download an application from the app store while you wear a mask this feature will also work you don't have to take your mask off to pay or to download applications to authenticate not only unlock but it works for everything even if you're wearing a mask and you don't need an apple watch which is a big deal now what i want to do here is i want to go ahead and put my mask on here and i have to move my iphone over to the left here so that i can go ahead and attempt to download an application while i wear a mask i'm gonna just download this one here and right now my mask is on and all i have to do is double click and it will authenticate just like so and it will download the application 
Now the feature is enabled right now. I can also lock my device here and go ahead and unlock using a mask. I can swipe up and just like so, it unlocks my iPhone even if I'm wearing a mask. Big, big feature coming to the iPhone with iOS 15.4. Let me know what you think about this feature. And there you guys have it. This has been a quick first look at iOS 15.4, Beta 1, Face ID while wearing a mask and while wearing sunglasses that are not compatible with Face ID. Thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.